It's Wednesday already, and that means another Crock-Pot Wednesday, and I'm really excited to share with you today's recipe. Today's recipe comes from the internet, and I will share with you the recipe at the end of this video. It is called Stuffed Pepper Soup. It is only 12 degrees today, and the snow is still on the ground, and it's so damp. It's a great day for some soup. So let's get started right away and making our Stuffed Pepper Soup. My friend Bobby, for my birthday, got me this induction cooktop, and I never had anything like this before. He thought it would be great for me to be able to can and do some cooking outside where I don't have the electricity, but we're going to use it today for my video. It calls for one pound of ground beef, but as you know, it's zero spend, and so I went in my freezer and I found some ground turkey, and it was only a dollar so I found some ground turkey and it was only $1.49. Learning how to use this and wow, it doesn't take much at all. This thing gets really hot. So I have it on the lowest setting temperature. So what we're doing is we're sauteing our ground turkey. To that we're going to add some yellow peppers and some orange peppers. We're going to saute everything to add one onion. We're going to saute everything until it is nice and clear so the onions will lose that crispiness. This is an amazing cooktop. I love it. We're all finished, we're going to combine everything and put it in our crock pot. How pretty is that? We have low fat ground turkey and the onions and the peppers amazing the peppers I was able to get a few weeks ago and they were only 40 cents for both of them because they needed to get used up we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is sauteed very well if only you guys could smell it, oh it smells so good there's something about onions and peppers cooking that makes such a good scent. Alright, so let's get everything started and put it in a crock pot. Go ahead and put our sauteed ground turkey with our mushrooms and our peppers into our crock pot. And there's virtually no fat in this ground turkey. And that's one thing about using turkey and chicken. You just don't have the fat like you do in red meat. And you're going to see me using a lot more of the ground turkey in recipes. To that it calls for three cups of beef broth. One 14.5 ounce can of tomatoes. Now I have a little bit of a larger can. One 15 ounce of tomato sauce. Look how pretty that is looking already. Cause for dried basil and oregano. I have that already in my seasoning mix that I make myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and put half of a tablespoon of that in. For salt and pepper to taste, and I would taste it when it's hot. If you remember right, Ellen, a subscriber of mine, gave me some of her bay leaves. Well, it calls for one bay leaf. Let's find the... And there's a perfect one. We're going to stick one bay leaf in. Mmm, it smells so good. Now it calls for one cup of rice and I'm going to see if our rice is finished. Our one cup of rice. Now it might be like a cup and a half. That's alright. Because I love rice. Let's give it a stir. Wow, doesn't the stuffed pepper soup look good? Make sure when you're finished you take that bay leaf out. 
All right, so we're going to have it on high for three hours or on low for six to eight. And in Tessie fashion, I'm going to have it on high for three hours because this is going to be our lunch. I'm having a really big meal for my whole family. Everyone's going to be here. And I wanted to share with you why it's so nice to have things in your pantry. This is apple pie filling, which we are making the video today of making apple pie filling. But this is some I already had. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a quick dessert that's only going to take a matter of minutes to make. And it's very frugal as well. All I have to do is get myself a casserole dish. And we're going to pop open all of these cans of apples. Yes, this is a lot of apples. But we have a large amount of people coming. And I need to make a large amount of apple crisp. So I'm going to go ahead, open all of these and we're going to put them in our casserole dish. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do four pints to start and then actually I'm going to do five pints to start and we'll see once how much more I need. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just put them in our casserole dish here on the side. This table is really full because I have a lot of food cooking right now. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to plop them all into our casserole dish. Oh, they look so yummy. Make sure I get all the apples. I'm very much in a hurry because I have so much work to do. And I just realized yesterday, well, I don't really have anything for dessert. So we're going to have this with vanilla ice cream. So it's somewhat of a healthy dessert. All right, let's go ahead and use the other one that we opened. And I think this is going to be enough. Really, I do. I might go ahead and open one more. So let's just go ahead and open one more. I love this way of opening my jars. Amazing. Okay, that's perfect. We don't want it any fuller than that. Now all we have to do is mix up the topping and we're going to go ahead and we'll do that next. So it calls for one and a half cups of oatmeal. The recipe comes from a very plain Mennonite woman that was such a good friend of mine for many, many years. So we have one and a half cup of oatmeal and two cups of flour. And this is what's going to bind everything together to put on top. I don't know about you, but I love the toppings. The toppings is what makes the apple crisp so good. So it's two cups of flour. And then it calls for one teaspoon of cinnamon. And there you go. It's as simple as that, a very old-fashioned apple crisp or apple cobbler, however you want to call it. Now we're just going to mix everything together and then we're going to combine with one cup of melted butter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to melt my butter and then we're going to pour everything on top. We're going to bake it at 350 for about one hour. Now warm apple crisp with some vanilla ice cream, that's sure to please anybody. Yum, yum. So now we have our one cup of melted butter. I'm going to go ahead and slowly pour that in. We're going to combine it all together. And we want to make sure that we really mix it well. All across the top. So what it did, it made little clusters that actually bake really nice. And it won't sink into your apple crisp. So many times in other recipes, the topping will sink into your apple crisp. But this actually keeps it real good and stays on top. We want to use it all up. Now it does look like a lot, but it's what really makes it so good. We'll make sure we get it way over in the edges.
There we go. We bait for. There we go. We bait for 350 for one hour. And our dessert is made. A little bit of some garlic crusty bread. And this is sure to please on a very cold, snowy day. I hope you give it a try. Now doesn't that look good? Now we're going to top it with just a little bit of shredded cheese. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And look at that steam. So let's give it a try. The soup, low in fat, low in calories, and it's very comfort. Something about rice brings out the comfort food. Mmm, -mm, that is really delicious. It tastes amazing. There's something very unique about it, and I definitely would be making this more. This is really tasty. Mm -mm. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.